Hi, I'm gonna show you how to make a science journal. So you can make some observations of animals and also you can just draw what you know about animals. Um, and this week you'll be observing our baby chicks we have here. So you can also use it for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white paper. You can use any paper you want. Maybe you have construction paper at home. Maybe you have some lined um, paper from a notebook, whatever you like. Um, you can even use a notebook, but if you don't have something like that at home, you can just take plain paper and you can fold it and make your own book. So I have a number of pages here. So think about how many pages you would like to start with. You don't need many because remember when you fold it, it's going to create more pages. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it in half. You might want to do this on a flat surface. So but put it in front of me. I don't have a lot of space in front of me right now. But I want to show you too. Fold it along the seam. And you want to make sure it's even, which is why folding it on a flat surface really helps so you can line up the edges. And a parent or grown up can help you. Okay? And then you have a book. Now, the pages could fall out, right? If you're folding multiple pieces of paper together. So there's a few ways you can keep it together. One way is if you have a stapler, have an adult help you, and you can staple. The sides, again, on a flat surface. I'm going to put three in. One. See, along the edge here, that's folded. So this part stays open. And I'm gonna put one on the bottom. So one on the top edge, one in the middle, one on the bottom edge. And then I have the first page of my book. And you might wanna take some time and fold open some of the pages. And now you have your own blank book to create. So if I want this to be my science journal, I'm gonna take my favorite colored marker or crayon, colored pencil, whatever you want. And this is my cover page, right? Um, and I'm gonna make sure that, I'm gonna write my name. So I spell my name, J. Show you what I'm doing here. J. E. S S I C A Jessica. And if you want to say something is yours, you put a little apostrophe up top and an S. So that says Jessica's. So it's gonna be Jessica's science. Right? That's the word science and journal. Now you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it my science journal. You could call it your observation journal. You could call it your uh, discovery journal. You could call it your science book, your discovery book, whatever you like. But I'm calling mine Jessica's Science, Jessica's Science Journal. And I wrote it in purple. Um, I would have preferred green actually, but I couldn't find a green marker. Purple's great. So Jessica Science Journal, and you can decorate this cover however you want. Maybe you want to draw some animals you might be observing. Maybe you want to draw um, what it's about. Maybe it's just about the chicks you've, you're were observing. Uh, maybe it's about some butterflies. Maybe it's about what you see out your window. Maybe it's about the birds you see. Maybe it's about your pet. I don't know. You know, on the first page, you can put whatever you'd like to discover in your science journal. Maybe the first thing you know about animals or things that we discovered this week. Um, we will be reading this book later on. So it could be something that you're thinking about with animals. You could reflect on that book later in this book too. Lots of things could happen here. So I hope you enjoy it. All right. I want to see your science journals. I can't wait to show you what I create in mine. All right. Bye.